is having a fabulous day. And I thought today I would come to you with a mail call. All right, guys. So I received two things in the mail today that I want to share with all of you. So let's get it going, y'all. So it's mail time. It's mail time. Look what I got in mail today. It's mail time. It's mail time. I'm so happy today. All right, so my first thing that I received was from Baker's Creek. I know everybody out there has been trying to get their fall ideas and what they were going to be planting for the fall season. So I said, Woo, I'm behind the curve. So I got to get out there and start figuring out what I'm going to do in my garden. So I picked up a few seeds. And look, this is what I mean when I say a few seeds. Because, you know, we all have that, that seed addiction. We just can't help it. Especially looking in that Baker Creek's catalog. If you have not looked into that catalog, trust and believe, you need to look into it and see what you can get. Because when you see one thing, it leads to another and another and another. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, so here are the seeds that I selected to start my fall garden with. Not all of them are going to be for the fall. So this one is a snow pea. doesn't have a picture on it, but it's called Green Beauty. So it's going to be some snow peas. And then my free seeds is going to be a cucumber. And that's the name of it. Beta Alpha. And then I saw this on Back to Our Roots. When they grew their okra, they had an uh, okra called the Motherland. So I thought that was cute because I love okra. And I thought that was so cute when they showed it growing in their garden. And then I did another melon because you know I'm trying to grow my first melon out there. So that's what that one is called. And I'm going to try some different type of lettuce. And this one's called a little gym because it's supposed to get really... It's enough, it's not going to be like a big lettuce. It's going to be like a medium size. So I thought that would be perfect. And it says very small apple green romaine type heads. Excellent flavor. Superb heat tolerant, which is also a good thing. And then and it says sure to please. And then this one is um, another lettuce. And I got this one because look at it. Isn't that cute? A lettuce that has a color to it, you know, I'm all about that. And it says it's an old Australian heirloom. The name means speckled like a trout. A superb, gorgeous romaine lettuce that is lavish, splash, and deep red. Beautiful and tasty. So we're going to see how that goes. And then this one is called a Cosmic Crimson Mix. Beautiful. Look at that. That's almost like a looks like a bouquet of flowers and this one is beautiful it says a blazing blend of rich red and purple strands all right so we're gonna see how this one works out for me and then I wanted to try some carrots because I didn't do too bad this year with my carrots so I figure I'd try another one and that's what um the, my free seeds were so I was like, all right now, Baker Creek, you must have been reading my mind. And then I'm going to do this spinach, and this is the name of it. And it says a gourmet French heirloom that was developed prior to 1866. It says it's supposed to be big, smooth, deep green leaves to 10 inches long, very fast growing plant. All right, spinach. And then I got another cabbage. This one's called Early Jersey Wakefield Cabbage because, you know, I'm in this cabbage game, and I'm definitely going to plant all my cabbage in the fall. It says, amazing heirloom dating from the 1840s. It says, tasty, two pounds, sweet, and flavorful. All right. And then I got a tomato, and it's called the Myla. And it says it's supposed to be 70 days, and it's an indeterminate, because I want to try some low-growing um, tomatoes. And there's another cabbage. Check this one out. And it says an old European heirloom that was very popular in, um, it says 150 years ago. It says tender, three to four pounds, pointed ox heart type heads. Excellent for home or market. So 
we're gonna see and this one I just could not pass up because I just thought it was too cute let's check this out and it says a popular and old Italian heirloom round head or cream colored splash with wine red stunning in salad a fall crop so this is especially designed for the fall and then I got another cabbage and this one says, introduced in 1924, a large drum head cabbage, very cold hardy, a fall winter type, stores very well, and is an excellent market variety. And then the last one that I got was a Chinese yellow heart. And it's a winter choy. Look how gorgeous that is. And this one says, super cold hardy, greens from China, rosette, green, rosette greens are short, just five to eight inches tall, which makes them incredibly cold hardy. Excellent for fall, winter harvest. Beautiful. So that's all the seeds that I received from Baker Creek. So I think I am going to have a good time trying to grow some of these wonderful seeds. So that's one of the package I received and I received a wonderful, beautiful little gift from a person that I love and I adore here on YouTube and you guys all know her she's Wendy healthy living with Wendy Wendy is always out there in that garden sharing all of her wonderful things that she's growing out there and her and her husband always are on that boat catching fish let me tell you if I live close to Wendy trust and believe me and Wendy be on that boat and we be seriously catching some stuff all right so let me show you what wendy sent me she sent me a beautiful card and i haven't opened it so let's see what's in here wendy oh she sent me a beautiful card and inside oh no wendy sent me some roma tomatoes because remember how i said i wanted to get as many roma tomatoes as i could in order to make my tomato sauce well, Wendy must have been saying, child, let me help Renee out and send that girl some seeds. So, Wendy, I am so, so thankful for you sending me these packets of seeds. And trust and believe these seeds will be going in the ground. I don't know if I can get them in um, this um, season, but I definitely will be growing a whole batch of Roma tomatoes because of you, Wendy. Woohoo! So Wendy's just wishing me a happy belated birthday and she said that I was on her mind when she was in the store So she decided to pick me up a package of seeds. Thanks, Wendy and always Because she's always giving me some wonderful helpful tips So when she gives me some tips and I have some tips to give to her I put it on my video and she always is so receptive of um, all the tips and stuff that I give her. So thanks, girl. So that is all that I have to do on my mail call this time. And if you have not checked out Wendy on Healthy Living with Wendy, you need to get on over there and tell her Miss Renee sent you because Wendy will keep you rolling. And the one thing that she's been saying lately in her videos is, I want to know what you guys are doing because I'm just so nosy. And we're all that way. We want to always see what everybody else is doing in their garden. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a blessed day.